What's up everyone? Today I'm going to the Dollar Tree to get some decor items for my apartment. There's some places that look a little bit blank, especially on the walls. And I want to bring a little bit more of me into this space. All right, let's check out some of the places where I want to add decor. This spot is in my bathroom above the toilet. I'd like to put something up there. And then also over this unused sink, I think it would be nice to have something on that wall. Wall in between my closet and bathroom could also use something. These walls above my dining table are pretty sad. Lastly, I'd love to add some magnets or something to my fridge and freezer. So those are the areas that I'm really targeting. Of course, there are lots of other places where I could put some kind of decor, but I'm really focusing on the walls because that's where it looks the most empty to me right now. I am going to also be shopping for a couple things for my desk at my work. Well, I'm not gonna film a desk transformation because my office is in a shared space and I don't really wanna have to ask for permission to do that. I figured I would just include the little shopping parts of that in here as well. So with that said, let's head out to the Dollar Tree. I'm back from the two Dollar Trees that I went to and I've got some budget-friendly finds to show you. This is all the stuff from the first Dollar Tree store that I went to and I really scored there. The first thing I got was this little glass jar and it's got flowers on it and then this little piece of twine tied around it. And this I'm thinking I'm gonna put a fake succulent in and to go with that, I got this crushed glass and it's kind of like a peachy pink color. So I think that'll look really nice in there. Actually, let me show you the fake plant that I already have that I'll be putting in there. This is it. So I think that'll be cute, right? It's also nice that they wrapped it in newspaper for me. Next, I got this hanging shelf. I'm thinking this is gonna go on that wall in between my closet and my bathroom. Then I got two canvases. This one I think is my favorite. It's just this woman with flowers in her hair. And the second one is this green watercolor painting with some white leaves on it. I will say that I probably would like bigger canvases for my bathroom, but you can't really be a dollar 25. Also, that was the biggest size that they had, so. All right, and the last thing, and this is actually for my workplace, well, so was the plant, are these googly eyes. And they had regular googly eyes, but then I saw these and I thought, oh, that's cool, that's fun. Because most of my work stuff, which is provided by the company that I work for, is black. And so I thought it would be fun to put some like colored googly eyes on there. I'm thinking like someone like my stapler, my phone, we'll see, but I thought these would be fun. And all of that cost me $7.95. On to our second bag. The last thing I got that was on my list was this acrylic picture frame. This is gonna be for my work desk actually. I have a school lunch hero day card basically a piece of paper that's going to go in here and I think this will be cute on my desk. Last two things were not things that I planned to buy but I saw them and I just thought that's something cute that I could do something with. First we got this wooden stand I guess you call it. I could see myself maybe putting like a recipe card on here like in my kitchen or putting like a piece of paper with like a quote on it or displaying like a birthday card or something that I get sent. I don't know but I, I could see this being cute even just by itself just standing on the counter and then i saw this craft fabric and i really liked it and i could see myself maybe just like wrapping it around even just a piece of cardboard maybe and leaning it against the wall or hanging it on the wall i don't know but i thought i could probably do some cute diy project with this maybe even wrap them around here i don't know 
All of that was $3.98. You saw in the footage that they did have some magnets, they did have some wall stickers and th other things like that that I was looking for, but I didn't love anything. And even though, who knows, would I buy this stuff really if I had the budget to spend really whatever I wanted on like my top piece, maybe not, but I also don't want to buy something that I don't love. So if I pick something up and I was like, it's kind of cute, but I'm not crazy about it. When I walk away, I forget about it. Not really worth it. Overall, I'm very happy with this trip and everything that I got and how affordable everything was as well. All right, let's put my vision together. Oh yeah, look at that. Here is the picture I wanna put in the acrylic frame. I am expecting that the sides of these are gonna stick out a little bit in here because I measured this and it's 4.25 versus four in terms of width, but I decided to go with this instead of a five by seven frame. Here is how it looks. All right, I'm putting this stuff over here because this is the stuff that I'm going to be putting on my desk and I know that I will remember to take it to work if I put it here. Here is the finished bathroom. You see, we just made minimal changes, but it does make a difference. There's still a lot of blank space in between the picture and the toilet, so I think it might be cool if I, like, I don't know, had like some twine hanging down and maybe put some like beads on it. I don't know, but this is it for now. So, like the canvases, I'm gonna go with another command clear hook. Comes with this strip, <laughs> command strip, and I'm gonna use this to hang my wall shelf with the canvases. They're so light that I just put them directly on the hook, but because the shelf weighs a bit more, I'm gonna wait maybe at least 10 minutes, if not 30. I think usually command strips, whatever the brand is, command, they usually recommend like 30 minutes to an hour, but in my experience, you don't really have to wait that long. I will be back in 10, 30 minutes. Here is the finished hanging shelf. It is later, the sun has gone down, which is why I have my artificial lighting on. I know that in the last clip, you saw me putting that white wooden stand in my kitchen, but I didn't want to leave you with an empty shelf. I have kind of a cramped set of shelves in the kitchen and so I took a few things off of that and I'm gonna see if I can't make this look a little bit less empty. I may change things up later but I just thought let's let's make it look a little bit nicer for for the video. I've got this cute card with a bunch of succulents on it. Actually let me give you a close-up. Isn't it cute? I got this. Also got this tiny little flower pot that is supposed to be like a llama. What do you think? Okay for now. With all of that said, that is it for today's apartment transformation. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. It tells YouTube to recommend my video to more people. You can also subscribe for similar content in the future. All of my social links will be below. If you liked this video, you may like my apartment spring clean or even my closet clean out video. So make sure you watch that next. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day. I don't know why I was just holding this <laughs> right in front of my face. Oh, yeah. I... Oh, damn.
so good and then I 